Hey there, financial freedom seekers. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jack, and today we're diving deep into a critical topic that could be a financial lifesaver for many Canadians. We're talking about how to access emergency cash from your retirement savings without facing those dreaded penalties. Specifically, we'll explore a little-known provision that allows you to withdraw up to $1,200 from your Old Age Security OAS or Canada Pension Plan CPP in 2024. Now, I know what you're thinking touching your retirement savings is usually a big no-no, and you're right, but life happens, and sometimes we need a financial cushion to soften the blow of unexpected expenses. That's why it's crucial to understand all your options, including this penalty-free withdrawal opportunity. So grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let's unpack everything you need to know about this potential financial lifeline. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty of how to access this emergency cash, let's talk about why this topic is so important. Life is unpredictable, and financial emergencies can strike when we least expect them. Maybe your car breaks down and needs an expensive repair, or you're faced with unexpected medical bills. Perhaps a family emergency requires immediate travel, or your home needs urgent repairs. In these situations, having quick access to cash can make all the difference. But for many Canadians, especially those in or nearing retirement, a significant portion of their wealth is tied up in retirement accounts. Typically, early withdrawals from these accounts come with steep penalties and tax implications, making it a less than ideal solution for short-term cash needs. This is where the importance of understanding all your options comes into play. While it's generally advisable to leave your retirement savings untouched until, well, retirement, there are circumstances where tapping into these funds might be necessary. The key is to do so in the most financially prudent way possible. That's why the option we're discussing today, the ability to withdraw up to $1,200 penalty-free from your OAAs or CPP, is so valuable. It provides a financial safety net for eligible Canadians without the usual drawbacks of early retirement account withdrawals. However, it's crucial to understand that this should still be considered a last resort used only when other emergency fund options have been exhausted. As we go through this video, keep in mind that financial decisions should always be made with both short-term needs and long-term goals in mind. While this penalty-free withdrawal option can be a helpful tool in your financial toolkit, it's just one piece of a comprehensive financial strategy. Now, let's get into the heart of the matter, the OAS CPP one-time payment option. This provision, available in 2024, allows eligible recipients to request a one-time payment of up to $1,200 from their Old Age Security or Canada Pension Plan benefits. What makes this option particularly attractive is that it's penalty-free. Unlike traditional early withdrawals from retirement accounts, this one-time payment doesn't come with any penalties. This means you get to keep the full amount you withdraw, without losing a portion to early withdrawal fees. Another great feature of this option is that it doesn't impact your regular benefits. One of the biggest concerns when considering any form of early withdrawal is how it might affect your future benefits. The good news is that this one-time payment doesn't affect your regular monthly OAs or CPP benefits, you'll continue to receive your usual payments without any reduction. Plus, there's some flexibility built into this option. The maximum amount you can withdraw is $1,200, but you're not obligated to take out the full amount. You can request any amount up to $1,200, depending on your specific needs. Compared to other forms of loans or credit, this option provides relatively quick access to funds, which can be crucial in emergency situations. And here's another bonus unlike a loan, this is not money that you'll need to pay back. It's essentially an advance on your benefits. However, it's important to note that while this option is available for both OAs and CPP recipients, you can only use it once. This means you'll need to carefully consider whether your current financial need warrants using this one-time option, or if it might be better to save it for a potential future emergency. Also keep in mind that this provision is specific to the year 2024. Financial regulations and options can change from year to year, so it's always a good idea to stay informed about the latest developments in retirement benefits and options. While this one-time payment option can be a valuable financial tool in emergencies, it's not a substitute for proper financial planning and emergency savings. We'll discuss important considerations and alternatives to consider before tapping into your retirement savings later in the video. Now that we understand what this one-time payment option is, let's talk about who can actually use it. The eligibility criteria for this penalty-free withdrawal are pretty straightforward, but it's crucial to ensure you meet all the requirements before applying. First and foremost, you must be currently receiving either Old Age Security OAS or Canada Pension Plan CPP benefits. This option is not available to those who have deferred their benefits or are not yet receiving them. 
There's also an age requirement to keep in mind. For CPP recipients, you must be at least 60 years old. Remember, 60 is the earliest age at which you can start receiving CPP retirement benefits. For OS recipients, you must be at least 65 years old, which is the standard age for OAAA's eligibility. Depending on your situation, you may need to provide proof of financial hardship to justify your need for the one-time payment. This could include things like unexpected medical expenses not covered by insurance, essential home repairs, job loss or significant reduction in income, or unexpected essential travel expenses. As you might expect, you must be a resident of Canada to be eligible for this option. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a one-time option. If you've used it before, you won't be eligible to use it again. There may also be a required waiting period between your last regular benefit payment and when you can request this one-time payment, so make sure to check the most up-to-date rules when you apply. It's important to note that meeting these eligibility criteria doesn't guarantee approval. Each application is reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis, and the final decision rests with Service Canada. If you're unsure about your eligibility, don't hesitate to contact Service Canada directly. They can provide the most up-to-date and personalized information based on your specific situation. Remember, this option is designed to help those facing genuine financial emergencies. Before applying, carefully consider whether your situation truly requires tapping into your retirement benefits. All right, so you've determined that you're eligible and that using this one-time payment option is the right move for your current financial situation. Now let's walk through the application process step by step. Before you begin, make sure you have all the necessary documentation on hand. This typically includes government-issued ID like your driver's license or passport, your social insurance number SIN, proof of your current address, bank account information for direct deposit, and documentation supporting your financial hardship if required. There are two main ways to apply for this one-time payment online or by phone. For the online application, you'll need to go to the Official Service Canada website and log in to your My Service Canada account MSCA. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. Once you're logged in, navigate to the section for OAS or CPP benefits and look for the option to request a one-time payment. Then, simply follow the prompts to complete the application. If you prefer to apply by phone, you'll need to call the Service Canada toll-free number. Be prepared to verify your identity over the phone. Explain that you're calling to request the one-time payment from your OAS or CPP benefits, and the representative will guide you through the application process. Whether you're applying online or by phone, you'll need to provide your personal information, the amount you're requesting up to $1,200, the reason for your request, and any supporting documentation for your financial hardship. Before you submit your application, carefully review all the information you've provided. Make sure everything is accurate and complete. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and submit your application. After submission, the waiting game begins. Applications are typically processed within five to 10 business days, though you may be contacted if additional information is needed. You'll be notified of the decision by mail or through your online account. If approved, payment is usually received within two to three weeks of approval, and it will be made using the same method as your regular benefits, usually direct deposit. A few important tips for the application process. Be honest, provide accurate information about your financial situation. Misrepresentation could lead to penalties or legal issues. Be specific when explaining your need for the payment. Give clear details about your financial emergency. If you haven't heard back within the expected time frame, don't hesitate to follow up with Service Canada. Make sure to keep a copy of your application and any correspondence for your records. And if you're having trouble with the application process, don't be afraid to ask for help. Service Canada representatives are there to assist you, or you might consider asking a trusted family member or financial advisor for help. Understanding the timeline for processing and receiving your one-time payment is crucial, especially if you're in a time-sensitive financial situation. Let's break down what you can expect after submitting your application. Typically, applications are processed within 5 to 10 business days. This time frame can vary depending on the volume of applications and the completeness of your submission. If additional information is required, the processing time may be extended. Once your application has been processed, you'll receive a notification of the decision. This notification usually comes via mail, but if you applied online, you may also receive an update in your My Service Canada account. The notification will inform you whether your application has been approved or denied. If your application is approved, you can expect to receive the payment within two to three weeks of the approval date. The exact timing can depend on various factors, including the payment method. Speaking of payment method, the one-time payment will typically be distributed using the same method as your regular OAS or CPP benefits. 
For most recipients, this means the payment will be made via direct deposit to your bank account. If you usually receive your benefits by check, the one-time payment will also be sent as a check, which may add a few days to the process. While waiting for your payment, it's a good idea to monitor your bank account or mailbox, depending on your payment method. Keep an eye on your My Service Canada account if you applied online. If you haven't received any notification or payment within the expected time frame, don't hesitate to follow up with Service Canada. Remember, while this process is designed to provide relatively quick access to funds, it's not instantaneous. If you're facing an immediate financial emergency, you may need to consider other short-term options while waiting for this payment to process. While the ability to withdraw up to $1,200 penalty-free from your OAS or CPP can be a valuable financial tool in emergencies, it's crucial to carefully consider all aspects before making this decision. Let's discuss some important factors to keep in mind. First and foremost, remember that this is a one-time option. Once you've used it, you won't have access to it again. This means you should carefully consider whether your current financial need is significant enough to warrant using this option now, or if it might be better to save it for a potential future emergency. While the withdrawal is penalty-free, it's important to note that the amount you receive is considered taxable income. This means it will be included in your total income for the year, it could potentially push you into a higher tax bracket, and it may affect income-tested benefits or credits you receive. Consider consulting with a tax professional to understand the specific tax implications for your situation. Although this withdrawal doesn't affect your regular monthly benefits, it does mean you're taking money out of your overall retirement savings. Consider the long-term impact of withdrawing this money now and whether you have the means to replenish these funds in the future. By withdrawing this money now, you're also missing out on potential growth if these funds had remained invested. While $1,200 may not seem like a lot, over time, the compound interest on this amount could be significant. Using retirement funds for current expenses can sometimes set a psychological precedent, making it easier to consider tapping into these funds again in the future. Be mindful of this and try to view this as a truly exceptional circumstance. Before proceeding with this withdrawal, it's crucial to explore all other options. We'll discuss alternatives in more detail later, but consider whether you have emergency savings you could use instead, family or friends who could offer a short-term loan, other assets you could liquidate, or expenses you could reduce or eliminate. If you do decide to use this option, it should prompt a review of your overall financial plan. Consider how to build or rebuild your emergency fund, ways to increase your income or reduce expenses, and strategies to avoid similar financial emergencies in the future. Be aware that whenever new financial options become available, there's unfortunately also an increased risk of fraud. Ensure you're only dealing directly with Service Canada and never share your personal or financial information with unsolicited callers or emailers claiming to be from the government. Keep in mind that financial regulations and options can change. While this option is available in 2024, there's no guarantee it will be available in future years. Stay informed about any changes to retirement benefit rules and options. Lastly, remember that everyone's financial situation is unique. What might be the right decision for one person may not be for another. Consider your overall financial health, other sources of income or savings, and your long-term financial goals when making this decision. Before deciding to withdraw from your retirement savings, even with this penalty-free option, it's crucial to explore all other alternatives. Let's go through several options to consider, along with their pros and cons. First up is your emergency savings account. The pros here are easy access, no tax implications, and it doesn't affect your retirement savings. The downside is you may not have enough saved or you could deplete your savings entirely. If you don't have an emergency fund, start building one as soon as possible. Aim for three to six months of living expenses. Another option is a low interest personal loan. The advantages here are a fixed repayment schedule and potentially lower interest than credit cards. However, it does add to your overall debt, requires a credit check and comes with monthly payments. If you're considering this option, shop around for the best rates and consider credit unions or online lenders. A line of credit can be another alternative. It offers flexible borrowing and often has lower interest than credit cards. But be aware that interest rates are usually variable and it can be tempting to overuse. If you're interested in this option, try to set up a line of credit before you need it when your credit is good. For those with good credit, a credit card balance transfer could be worth considering. Some cards offer 0% interest for an introductory period, which can be very helpful. 
However, be aware that interest rates usually skyrocket after the intro period, and there's often a fee for the transfer. If you go this route, read the fine print carefully and make a plan to pay off the balance before the intro period ends. Sometimes, the solution might be right in your own home. Selling unnecessary items can raise cash without incurring debt and has the added benefit of decluttering your space. The downside is that it may not raise enough money and can take time and effort. Take a look around your home for valuable items you no longer need or use. If you're able, consider taking on part-time or gig work. This can provide an additional income stream with potential for ongoing earnings. The drawback is that it takes time and energy and may not provide immediate cash. Explore opportunities that fit your skills and schedule. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of negotiation. Try negotiating your bills or setting up payment plans. This can provide immediate relief and doesn't require borrowing. However, it may only provide a short-term solution and not all creditors will be willing to negotiate. Start by contacting your creditors and explaining your situation. Many are willing to work with you, especially if you've been a good customer. Remember, each of these alternatives has its own pros and cons. The best choice depends on your specific situation, so take the time to carefully consider each option before making a decision. All right, financial freedom seekers, we've covered a lot of ground today. We've explored the ins and outs of this unique opportunity to withdraw up to $1,200 penalty-free from your OS or CPP in 2024. We've discussed who's eligible, how to apply, what to expect during the process, and important considerations to keep in mind. We've also looked at several alternatives to consider before tapping into your retirement savings. Remember, while this penalty-free withdrawal option can be a valuable tool in your financial toolkit, it should be used judiciously. It's a one-time opportunity designed for genuine financial emergencies. Before you decide to use it, make sure you've explored all other options and considered the long-term implications for your retirement savings. Financial emergencies can be stressful, but knowing your options can help you make informed decisions. Whether you choose to use this penalty-free withdrawal option or pursue one of the alternatives we discussed, the key is to approach the situation with a clear understanding of the pros and cons. If you found this information helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more financial tips and tricks. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. If you have any questions or experience,